Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the two magic words that you need to secure property investment deals. Now, if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you're back as a regular visitor, smash the like button, drop a comment below, as the more comments we get below means the more people this video will reach. So, listen, I've been investing in property now for over a decade, and I remember when I first wanted to start viewing houses and putting forward offers, it was really scary because I didn't know these two magic words that I'm gonna share with you in a moment. And the thing that put me off viewing houses was the estate agent saying to me, so would you like to put forward an offer? Because if you put forward an offer, let's say you viewed a house for 100 grand, you put forward an offer, then what? Then they're gonna say yes and then you gotta buy it and you might not have the money. So if you've not got the money, you've not got your ducks in a row, you can't then ring up an agent, because if you ring up an agent, they're gonna get you to book the viewing, they're then gonna ask you to put in an offer, and you can't put in an offer because you don't have the money. So it's this constant catch 22 of what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Should you save up loads of money, and then when you've got the cash, then go and negotiate like a pro and start putting forward loads of offers, or what, how does it work? And the truth is, you need to learn these two words, and the two words are if and would. If, would. And let me put this into some context, because if is a hypothetical word. So I'll give you an example. You view a house, the house is on for 100,000 pounds. You're interested in the deal. So instead of saying to them, I could buy it for 80,000 pounds, you're gonna say instead, you're gonna say, if I put forward an offer of around about 80,000 pounds, what do, would they say? You know, that, 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 that's what you're gonna say. So listen, if I put forward an offer of about 80,000 pounds, what, what do you think they would say? And then the estate agent might say, oh, you know what, that's a little bit low. I think they'd accept more like 85,000. And then you're gonna say, okay, cool, leave that with me and I'll get back to you. So now you've viewed the house, you've not put forward your offer, but you've done your if would offer, and you've now got an idea of how much they'll accept. Now this if would, I use it for everything. I use this for putting forward offers, I use it for dealing with builders, I use it for dealing with estate agents, for investors when I'm deal packaging, if would. And these two words, you've gotta master these two words and when and where to use it. I'll give you another example. Let's say you are wanting to package a deal and you're wanting to pass it on to an investor. Now. What do, you, what, what do you do first? Do you, do, you, do you find the investor first or do you find the deal first? Because imagine if you find a deal, it's a really good deal, but then you try and sell it to an investor and you say, hey, I've got this deal and I've just had it wrapped up at 85,000 pounds, do you want it? And then the investors are saying, I'm not sure, I need to think about it. But you've put forward this offer with the estate agent. So you're, you're, you're stuffed now because the estate agent's gonna be breathing down your neck. That's why you wanna use Ifwood with the estate agent. But I also use it with the investor. So before I even view a house, let's say if I'm viewing some house, some HMOs in Birmingham, I'll contact some investors and I'll say to the investors, what kind of deals are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for some high returning properties. Okay, would you be open to some uh, HMOs in Birmingham? Yeah, I'd be open, you know. Okay, well listen, if, here's the if would again, talking to a property investor now. Listen, if I, if I, if I could find some really good high cash flowing properties in Birmingham, would you be interested? If would. Uh, yeah, I would actually, I'd be really interested. Okay, cool, well if you give me your business card and your email, I'll keep, I'll keep you posted. All right, great. And listen, if would again, I use this constantly. This is my biggest secret, if would. Um, okay, well, well listen, if I, if I can find something over the next few days, would you be in a position where you can pay me a finder's fee? If would! Oh, I don't know, I mean, I'm not quite ready yet. All right, cool, now you know where you stand, so you're gonna if would the next person. So, honestly, you need to learn. If and would. Now I'm gonna be running a webinar. It's gonna be a free webinar, okay? Um, and I'm gonna be talking in much more detail about how to package and sell deals, how to negotiate. So if you're interested in some further training and learning the language, I'll leave a link in the description below, click on it, and I've got a few free advanced webinars with me personally coming up. I'd love to hear if you have success trying this strategy. Comment in the description box below what you think, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you wanna learn more about negotiations, how to find property deals and negotiate, you can check out a video that I did up here. It's a really cool video. If you wanna hear stories of people that have won in property as a result of my training and my webinars, then check out this playlist right here. Don't forget to subscribe over here. And again, if you wanna do the advanced training with me, check out the description. I'll see you there.